In this video, we're going to discuss the top five languages that you should learn in 2021. Now, before we continue, I want to say the following. If you're new to programming, if you're just starting out, don't try and learn all of these languages in one go. That's only going to make you frustrated. Pick one language and learn that language first. Try and get a good understanding of one language and then you can look at other languages. And with that in mind, my top language that I think you or anyone else should learn is Python. Python is used in so many places. It's used for data science. It's used for network automation. It's used for cybersecurity, ethical hacking. It's used in many, many places. It's been gaining popularity a lot in the last few years. GitHub have put together a great set of reports, and I'll link them below, that show you the top languages that they predict for 2021. And one of the things that you'll notice is that Python has gone from fourth place to second place according to their list based on the popularity of programming languages on GitHub. Now they've put JavaScript above Python, but if you've just started, if you're just starting your journey with programming, you haven't programmed in the past, I would recommend that you learn Python. It's used once again in so many places. As an example, if you're a network engineer and you wanna automate networks, Python is the language to learn. If you're an ethical hacker, Python is the language to learn. Same with data science. It's used in so many places. So if you're starting out, you wanna become a developer or you're a network engineer, or you wanna be an ethical hacker, learn Python. That is my recommended language for 2021. Focus on that language first, and then once you're comfortable with Python, you'll find it so much easier to learn other languages. If you don't understand what a variable is, you're going to struggle picking up multiple languages. Don't be like the wind and blow from one place to the other, never settling down. Settle on one language, get a good understanding of that language, and then you can look at other languages. So my opinion and my advice once again, based on what I see in the industry and based on statistics that I see on places like GitHub and Stack Overflow is learn Python if you're starting out or if you wanna pick one language. Now let's expand this a little. My top two languages would be Python and secondly, JavaScript. JavaScript has been at the top for a long time on GitHub has been popular for a number of years and will remain as a very popular language because the world runs on web browsers. Web applications dominate the world today. In the really old days, we used to have thick clients or clients installed locally, and then we'd have a server application and they would talk by some kind of API. These days, we tend to have a web browser-based application. So the web is where everything is at, so JavaScript is gonna remain popular. Those are the two that I would focus on initially. So if you're starting out, learn Python, and then start learning JavaScript, and then you can start learning the other languages. Another very popular up and coming language is TypeScript. If you look at the GitHub statistics once again, you can see that it's now in fourth position. It's grown exponentially in the last few years. So that's another language to look at. C Sharp is always gonna be popular. Windows still dominates the desktop, both at home and in enterprises. So C Sharp is a fantastic language to learn. And last on the list is Java. If you knew, don't start with Java, rather start with Python. Get to Java a bit later. Sooner or later. Now it's very difficult to choose five languages because there are a lot of very popular languages, a lot of new and upcoming languages. So let's expand this to top 10. On GitHub, once again, they have a nice list of the top languages. So Python and TypeScript are growing a lot in popularity once again. Stack Overflow also lists their top loved languages. So Rust is at the top, second is TypeScript. Then we have Python, then we have Kotlin, then we have Go, and then we have some other languages. So that is a list of the most loved languages according to Stack Overflow. So here's my list. So top five once again, Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, C Sharp, Java, and then I would look at Kotlin, PHP, Rust, Go, or Swift. Now, a lot of this depends on the environment or the application that you're wanting to write. If you wanna write for Apple devices, you probably wanna look at Swift. Big change recently with the M1 chips from Apple. We'll probably see in the coming years that Swift becomes even more popular because not only will we write applications for an iPhone, but we'd also write for the M1 chipset as an example. So Swift is gonna be an interesting one to keep an eye on in the coming years. 
Go is very powerful. If you are a network engineer, I would learn Python, and then as a second language, learn Go. Concurrency is built into Go, a lot of advantages to Go, very similar to C. So if you're a network engineer, Python, Go. If you are a ethical hacker, Python, great language to start with. But again, look at the applications that you are wanting to write. C Sharp for Windows as an example, Swift for iPhones. So you need to decide which applications to focus in on. My advice, once again, top language, Python, top two, Python and JavaScript. And then I'd start looking at some of the other languages, but please don't jump around from language to language. Try and become good or at least comfortable in one language before you jump to another language. Once you're comfortable with the terms of a language, so you understand variables, you understand arrays, dictionaries, lists, those kind of things. Once you understand the basics of a language, it's much easier to learn another language. In the bad old days, I was writing in VB6, I was writing in Perl. I could take all that knowledge of Visual Basic, Perl, Windows scripting, and apply that to Python. Very easy to move from one language to another. As a network engineer, it's very easy for me to move, say, from a Cisco environment to an HPE environment because I understand the protocols. I understand BGP, OSPF, protocols like that. Very easy to move from one vendor to another. Get an understanding of the principles of programming, then it's much easier to move from one language to another. Okay, so there are my thoughts about the best languages to learn in 2021. What do you think? Do you agree with what I've said? Once again, please comment below. And please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Please click on the bell to get notifications. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm David Bombal. I want to wish you all the very best in 2021.